There are two ways to create vectors in Autograph. Uh, one is between two points, one then the other, and then if you create a vector there you can move it around. Um, or you select a single point and then create a vector by adding its coordinates. Now uh, you can add a coordinates either in rectangular form or in polar form. And uh, this little exercise is, is the, uh, to highlight the problem that uh, when you have a resulting vector, like this one here, which is the sum of these two, uh, the coordinates in rectangular form are so given but not in polar form. So uh, the way to show the polar form is as follows. You put a, a line segment on top of this, measure its length, and then show the length. Uh, you put a random point somewhere along here and measure the angle, and there you've got it. So I'll show you how this works by starting from scratch. So let's put uh, a point here. By the way, I'm going to be in whiteboard mode because that's why I normally am, and then I'll take it off in a minute to show you why. I'm going to put a point here, and let's put it up here. And right click, let's use the object menu because it's then in view. I'm going to show a vector. Now I'm going to choose the polar form. Uh, now I'm in radiance at the minute, so I think I'll cancel that and change to degrees so it's a bit more uh, understandable. So let's have a look at this vector. Uh, let's have a uh, polar form of, say, two, along, uh, 2 in length and 45 degrees. That's fine. Then I'll choose another one. Um, let's have a vector form of 3 and 90. OK, that's 1, 2, 3. Um, I haven't got equal aspect on at the moment, which I probably should, because we're dealing with uh, vectors and directions and so on. So I'm going to click that now. And you can see that the X uh, alters automatically to fit the Y. Move that down. Now if I select these two and also select this point, I can right-click, add the two together. Now if I want to show the magnitude, uh, the length of the, and the angle of this vector here, um, what I need to do is select these two points. I think it's just off the top, actually. That's better. Select that one and this one, and object line segment. There it goes. Now, this is where the problem happens, because I really want to select that line and not the vector. If I select it now, I've selected the vector, because that was there first. Click again, and I select the line segment, but also the other one, because I'm in whiteboard mode, which uh, means you do not need a shift to do multiple selections. So if I take whiteboard mode off, just for the moment, and now I'm going to select that, no, but if you keep an eye on down here, you can see what you've got selected. Click the next one, and that will select the line segment, and that indeed gives us the distance. So, uh, the text box for that, um, I'm just going to put um, R equals instead of distance. I think it might be better, and it's 4.635. So there's that. Uh, now to get the angle, I'm going to select this and right-click to a horizontal line, put a point somewhere along here, and then select the point. And I need the shift key now, so I'm just going to go back to whiteboard mode temporarily. So that and that and that and object angle. There it goes. Allow reflex, may as well, and uh, there we are. So that's 72.24 degrees. If I double click on this and edit the settings, I can actually stop it being anchored to the point. And I can also put, I'll just take theta off here, theta space equals space. OK, so I've now got theta equals and r equals for this vector. So if I was, for example, to uh, edit this vector and change it to 120 degrees, what's going to happen is that this will go around to here and the sum will move around a bit as well and it will get changed. So that's the way to show the uh, magnitude and direction of a vector in polar coordinates. So just to tidy things up, uh, let's do a bit of uh, um, hiding. So I want to select that one, I want to select that one, and the line segment, perfect. Object, hide, there we go. 